Whoa! I can't believe I'm in the Sanctum Sanctorum. Neither can I. It fills you with confidence about being him again. It makes you stand tall. It makes you feel like a bit of a hero. A lot of it is just trying to play catch up with him, you know, because he's so bloody brilliant. You can kind of go anywhere with it, which is what you want in these films. You want to discover what the character's like in a very different context and sort of really explore that dynamic with Spider-Man. Doctor Strange is mostly just terribly annoyed with Peter that he's upended his life. Don't. <sighs> this is why I never have kids. I really like the idea of, like, it's a wonderful life with Peter. What could he possibly do to try and fix things? What is the 17-year-old kid's solution to this problem? He'd be like, well, I know Doctor Strange. Maybe I could ask him for help. So, Peter, do I, do I owe the pleasure? Doctor Strange is down there on Bleecker Street in Greenwich Village. But I think he's anything but a mentor to Peter in, in this movie. Peter does go to him for advice and, and help uh, at a certain point, wondering if there's some way that he can put the genie back in the bottle. He could just go ask him to fix it all. Just magically fix it all. Just turn back time or do a spell or do something so that my life can go back to normal. You ready? I'm ready. And as you might imagine, it's not that easy and things start to go wrong. If you really think about what Peter's been through and how closely tied Strange is to all of that, it's basically Strange's idea about how to actually stop Thanos and Endgame. You know, that directly leads to the loss of Peter's mentor right in front of his eyes. It's no stretch of the imagination for me to think that Strange would want to help him. I'm really sorry to bother you, sir, but... Please, save to have the universe together. I think we're beyond you calling me, sir. OK, uh, Stephen. That feels weird, but I'll allow it. It's nice that he's able to seek solace in a friend that's Doctor Strange. It's also nice for me because Benedict has been a good friend of mine for years and years, so it's always fun sharing the screen with him. It's always interesting as well having two boys from London pretending to be two boys from New York. Him and Parker are kind of level in the Avengers. You know, they're two very important superheroes, but sort of on a more everyday level, One's mid-40s and the other one's yet to go to college. So there's a very sort of paternal or avuncular thing that kind of kicks in with Strange, which is very non-Strange territory to be in. You know, this guy's quite a self-involved egotist, even if he is doing good for others. It's on his own terms. So this kid kind of reorientates him, and we're loving riffing off that and also just doing some really cool shit that I haven't done yet in a film. That's Strange. Sanctum's built at the intersection of cosmic energy currents. And they shot an episode of The Equalizer here in the 80s. The Sanctum, it could constantly change and evolve. And you open up one door one time, you open up another time, it might be different. So that gave us a lot of freedom. And that's what Marvel does so well. The kind of scale of what they have in live action is not to be underestimated. And the quality of the set build, the paint work, the effects. Just full credit to the uh, set designers and all the crew that have just made it look incredible. And, you know, oh, like in a bit of a winter wonderland in there. This is all. This is a huge amount of Epsom salts. I kid you not, like barrels and sacks and tons, literally, of Epsom salts. So you would think, how? And it just does. And even when you wet it down, it starts getting that slightly kind of crystalline, squelchy feel of snow that's thawed a little bit after a few hours sun in the morning, but it's basically really nice powder. So uh, what is this place? The ancient chamber was a blast to do, and we had to come up with, you know, why is it here? What's the design elements? So we have these two sets. We have a workshop, and then we have an ancient chamber. And we wanted a really strong contrast between those two. So the joke is, when they go downstairs, they click on the light, and it's just the most boring basement you've ever seen, like the most storage room, Doctor Strange. They work through the workshop, and they come into an aperture or a threshold, and they look into a really ancient chamber, an old ruined chamber, which is where a lot of our action takes place. But that whole concept of the ancient chamber being a ruin that was here before New York was even built was kind of the idea. So we wanted to come down from the top of the sanctum, down the staircase into the workshop, and then down even deeper into the ancient chamber. And so that was a great set to design. It's full of fun to play with this set, and it just puts you right back on your game as a character like Strange. How did you do that? Lots of birthday parties. <laughs>